Now that we've completed all the other connections on our Secasol system, the last thing we need to do is fill the heat exchanger in the tank. Before we put glycol in it, however, we want to flush it with clean water. So we have a filling station here that we're going to fill this vessel full of clean water. We've connected the pump to the return assembly on the bottom of the tank. We're going to take another hose and connect it to the supply assembly and feed it back into our tank. Both the supply and the return assemblies have a place for hose connection for filling or draining and a valve mechanism to drain or close the system when you're done. We're going to turn the pump on and we're just going to let it flush the heat exchanger for a couple minutes. When we're done, we want to turn off our pump. We're going to drain the water out of the system and mix our glycol. Now, the Secasol ships with a jug of glycol that's just enough to fill the heat exchanger once mixed with water. We want to fill this tank up to two gallons, which gives us a 33% mix of glycol. We're going to take the glycol. Having drained the water out of this tank, we're going to put glycol in it. We're going to pump it back into our heat exchanger. Once the heat exchanger is full, we can shut all the valves, disconnect, and we're ready to start pumping liquid to the roof. Flushing the system can be done with a garden hose if you don't have a filling station. All you need to do is connect your garden hose to the return assembly, connect another hose to the supply assembly and put it into a drain, turn the garden hose on, let it run for a while and flush out the system. Connect a hose with a half inch swivel nut to the cold water filling tap on the return assembly at the bottom of the tank. Place the other end of the hose into the glycol container. Place the container in a higher position than the solar inlet connection at the middle of the tank. A transparent hose is useful to monitor the filling level. Connect the second hose to the filling tap on the supply assembly at the middle of the tank and briefly suck on the hose end. Place the end in an empty canister and place it on the floor. The solar liquid automatically siphons into the heat exchanger.